And right now it's time for that time when we have our special guest. Tonight's special guest is Gray Bartlett. Giving pleasure to many over the years with his golden fingers, Gray has worked tirelessly for the promotion of country music in New Zealand. With the 2011 National Country Music Awards in two weeks, it's time to catch up with Gray, the show and country music in general. We welcome Gray Bartlett as our special guest on The Beat Goes On. Gray Bartlett. Nice to see you, my friend. The man with golden fingers. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> hey, you've been in the wars there. What's this? Uh, That's dead right. Well, last yeah. Friday I had an operation, a small operation on my face, yeah. just to take a, a BCC off. And uh, the surgeon said, better to get it now than wait two years yeah. and they grow a little bit bigger. But it's no big deal. Yeah. It just looks like I've been given a good thump in the face. <laughs> and and the, the old injections I put in, about four of them, they certainly pump up the face. Now, the show must go on. The that's that's the theory behind that, isn't it? The that show is the must truth. Go on. The yeah. truth is the show yeah. must go on. And I tell you what, the show that is going on is on the 13th of August, and it's only in two weeks' time. That's right. It's in Hamilton, it's the Founders Theatre, and it's the National Country Music Awards, which you are one of the founders. Yes, indeed. Bernie and I took quite a long time. We put this together, and I've been helping it for the first three or four years of its existence, mm. and it's been a success every no, every time it's, it's been, been a wonderful show hasn't it and it's grow it's growth has been fantastic what i've been privileged to bring to it is the the fact that it is now recognized by the cma of america as the official country music uh, event in new zealand wow. and that's quite a big yeah. thing so yeah. the winners of the horizon award which is the award for the new singers or the best mm. new singers in new zealand in country music the winner of that goes to america mm. plays on the global artist party show to uh, around about 40 million viewers Gosh. and 15,000 in a live situation. Mm. And uh, it's been so successful, you can't miss it because yeah. we've got some huge talent. We've got Brian White coming from America, the guy that wrote From This Moment On and sang it with Shania Twain, wow. five million album. He'll be there, he'll be presenting. He's also doing shows at the Sky City mm. Function Center down there. But you know, there's more than that. There's True Legends, which is our show probably mm. the most successful of its type, with Eddie Lowe, who's mm. number two on the charts at the moment, and um, Brendan Dugan, Jody Vaughan, myself. And Shane, our Shane, Shane he'll be there. Dennis Marsh yeah. will be there. Yeah. I mean, you, the list goes on. Yeah. It's, it's the best talent in New Zealand. Now, before we go any further, Gray, just to uh, let our viewers know who may not know about the National Country Music Awards, what, they tried, what you and Bernie tried to do was marry the the older performers the professionals the experienced performers yes. <coughs> create a show create a show and invite the young and up-and-coming uh, right. uh, artists onto the show what a great idea it is a great idea it's, and it's, what it's to expose those younger ones to yes. a bigger audience and how it? we went was we obviously have to be have to get the cream of the young talent mm. because yeah, we how want do you find them how do you find well them? Th they find us most yeah, of the time because yeah. they know the national country music awards is the premier event mm. in new zealand there are a couple of other events that are really just family uh, events that have been for amateur talent. Mm. And that's fine, and they serve a wonderful purpose. Like a feeder, Gore, a feeder service. Gore yeah. and Nelson yeah. and all those ones are great feeder services. But the pinnacle event mm. is and will always be the National Country Music Awards. Mm. And it's just a brilliantly put on event. Mm. The, the production, the, the work that goes into make it look, the lighting, the sound mm. is superlative. And of course, we have all the main stars. Mm. We also have every year the international director for the Country Music Association of America, Rob Potts. Mm -hmm. He will be out here. Gosh. And um, what a gathering! What a gathering! Oh, it's a great gathering. Yeah. So there's a lovely international flavour of Americans. Australians, New Zealand. Well, let's uh, give some dates and times for the uh, the National Country Music Awards. It's in Hamilton, so we want everyone from Auckland to go down and everyone from Wellington to come Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Uh, the whole from of the everywhere. North Island and from the South Island. It's real fun, it's I've got to tell you. At the Founders Theatre and book now. That's book to make now. sure you're not disappointed. Uh, at the Founders Theatre. It's the 13th of August. Yeah. And uh, 8 p.m. and what a night! Yeah, I think it's 8 p.m. Maybe 7:30, but just check that out. But come along because yeah. you'll enjoy it. You'll meet the stars. Yeah. They come out afterwards and have a chat, yeah. and it's just a wonderful time. Great. Well, look, uh, Gray, we're going to give away uh, three tickets, and uh, we're going to give three away doubles, some are they? yeah, three double tickets and right. uh, and three double albums. But we'll do that at the end of our chat because uh, I'd like to talk about Gray Bartlett. Uh, <laughs> 
We haven't caught up for a while, have we? We haven't must indeed. do two or three years. Yeah. And uh, must be five people in New Zealand haven't heard of Grey Bartlett. Would that be correct? Um, about five? I've been around long enough to be <laughs> yeah. reasonably well known. <laughs> Before we have a chat and find out about Grey Bartlett, why don't we play a beautiful piece of music? This is just to show you what a great guitarist. You are a guitar legend. Yeah. Uh, you are, it's a wonderful piece, Fields of Gold, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a great Lovely. song. Let's have a, just a little bit of listen, about 60 seconds in, we'll come back and we'll talk. It indeed has. When did it first happen that uh, the sound of a guitar struck you, that you, your whole life changed? Well, I can tell you, it, it is quite clear to me when it happens. You never forget my yeah, like yeah. that. And it was when I heard a New Zealand guitarist oh. uh, who's passed away in the last year. Um, his name was Mark Kahi, yeah. and he came from Christchurch, and uh, he has brothers and stuff who I think may be deceased, but he played on national radio, and he did a tune called In the Still of the Night, and he played it, it was just like I could imagine these floating clouds yeah. and this melody on top of these beautiful clouds on that fresh air. You were a little boy me. listening to the radio. I was only young, I was mm -hmm. only in my, I think I was 12 or something like that. Yeah. And I was just awestruck by how that music could just captivate me. And then I happened to, uh, maybe a week or two later, hear a couple of tracks by Chet Atkins in, mm. and Somebody Stole My Gal and all that. And I was fascinated by that wonderful <laughs> sound. And so that was it. I mean, I was hooked, blind, hooked and singer. But the, um, the main thing about the guitar, or music in general, is that I like to get a picture. I like to get a vision of what the song's about. I like to be able to see scenes within mm. my yeah. brain. And I so what, what can you see when you're playing Fields of Gold? Well, that's very easy. I always relate when I do that in my shows around the world with playing that song, because it's part of my repertoire. It's generally the first track I play. Right. And um, what I see there is, and I tell the story that that's where Sting, who wrote the song, of course, lives in those areas. And of course, that's what he wrote about. He wrote fields about the fields of gold yeah, in, the, yeah. in Italy and um, in the beautiful areas that he's lived. And of course, that's what I imagine, the paintings by Van Gogh and, yeah. and uh, all those people. So for me, it's a movement too. It's not like a still picture. It's not a portrait. It's a moving picture. And, and you're, I see, you're playing along with it. And I can hear, I can see and feel the air. So that actually helps you yeah. capture the mood for the people ah. because you become then mm. that person that's there. Yeah. And that's for me, that's what it's about. Now, when you look back on, uh, I'm still another, still another 50 years to go, of course, <laughs> of course. but uh, when you look back on this wonderful career, have you ever thought uh, that you might have been something else, an accountant, a bricklayer, a yes. candlestick maker, a baker? It's quite odd. I, yeah. I was at Auckland Grammar and... Um, a, a guy or friend of ours up the road uh, told me about a, a surgeon called uh, Alan Johnson, who has since obviously passed away. But he was so kind because he, he wanted to help out. Um, we were from quite a poor family, mm. and I was the youngest of eight. And he gave me some books on surgery, old books on yeah. and study up. And I used to study these up. And of course, my main ambition was to become a surgeon. But of course, that got blown away because in those days, we may all remember that mm. only those with the wherewithal 
well, became surgeons. Became surgeons. <laughs> yeah. not the, they weren't necessarily the brightest people, yeah. uh, um, but they were certainly the ones with the ability to stave off the need to work when you got out of school. <laughs> <laughs> so you tinkered with the idea of being a oh, surgeon? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I, I would have loved to have gone that way. I mean, I just love helping people. Mm. I like being involved. And it's, it's become that way with my music career too, with my career design that I do all over the world with artists. And, um, and that's a similar thing. Mm. And it is following with the same precision. Yeah. So you do it properly and make sure they get the best breaks. Well, great. We must move on. Uh, we've only, you know, we only get a few precious moments to talk. But uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, remind people once again about the show in Hamilton on the 13th at the Founders Theatre. What a fabulous show. Booking the ticket deck. The National Country Music Awards. And we're going to give away three double passes Brilliant. to the show. And not only that, but the double album by... Yours truly, Thank Gray you. Bartlett. Yes, well, we did extraordinarily well with that, and thanks yeah. to EMI um, that we were able to do that. It's 50 tracks. 50 tracks. And all the ones right from when I started mm -hmm. right up till now. So we'll go over it again, just in case you haven't got it. Double pass to the National Country Music Awards in Hamilton yep. on the 13th, and the double album. But yes. we need a question. A good question would be, let me think. Something simple. Who was the performer mm. or who we reached number one on the national charts in the last few months who's a country music performer? And he'll be at the show on and the 13th. And he'll be on the show on the 13th of August. Well, the I'm founded. going to give our audience, our viewers, a clue. His name is, his Christian name is Dennis, or his first name, second name, Marsh. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Dennis Marsh is the answer to put in the uh, subject line. So, Jared at thebeatgoeson.co.nz with subject line Dennis Marsh. Gray Bartlett, it's been great it's catching you. It's a great pleasure to be here, my And friend. I'm looking forward to the concert. I'll be there and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. You will, a wonderful concert. Thanks, Gray. Thanks,